you guys another day, another reselling Q&A. Oh my gosh, I'm very mad right now, but we'll get into why towards the end of this video. So I've addressed this a little bit more on my Patreon. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon, I'll link it down below, but I've addressed this a little bit more on there, but I wanted to bring it up in a YouTube video to see what you guys think about this. So somebody commented on one of my videos and says, I was surprised by a pretty known reseller's live sale on whatnot. She had a sale in a thrift store while she was going through the racks. When she found something of value, buyers would bid on it. She's successful, so I'm happy for her, but I kind of feel like it was cheating a bit. So on Instagram, I pulled you guys yesterday, actually. Can I still see the results? Can I see the results? I can. Yeah. So I pulled you guys yesterday and I said, what do you guys think about resellers doing live auctions in thrift stores, auctioning off stuff that they haven't even purchased yet? And 37% of you guys said, I don't care. And 63% of you guys said, it's a little sketchy. You guys should comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. I think it's a little awkward because like literally you're selling stuff that isn't even yours yet. You know, I wonder what what not would think about that. I actually have my onboarding with them tomorrow. And I want to ask them about that because I don't know, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I'm like kind of conflicted. I think it's a little sketchy, but then I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe it's a good idea, but I don't want to like break any rules or anything. One of you guys commented and said, I can't believe they don't get kicked out. Mine would call the police. I was doing that one of my Goodwills. I feel like the worker would be like, what are you doing? But according to this person, like, oh no, they don't care. They don't care. So I don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that. And again, I'm curious as to what, what not thinks about that. Cause like literally you're selling things and you're getting money from people for these things before you even purchase them. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts, but I wanted to mention it in this video because I had mentioned it on Instagram and I'm curious because not all you guys follow me on Instagram, so I'm curious your thoughts. This person says, if you had to give up reselling or making YouTube videos, what would you give up? I don't know. I've been making YouTube videos for like 16 years but I've only been reselling for three years. I don't know. I don't know if there was a way that I could make YouTube videos and still sell, I would do that. Uh, honestly, if I had to give up, like if I had to just sell on one platform, I think I would choose eBay over all the other platforms. I think I would. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know. I love making YouTube videos, so I would find some way to do both. Yes, that's, that's totally not answering your question, but I don't know, I can't answer it. Okay, next question, would you ever open a storefront, like a physical store? I've been asked this question so many times, and every time my answer has been like, no, you know, it's gonna be too much work, but I don't know, I don't think I can completely say no anymore. I feel like maybe, I don't know, it would be cool to have like a store and people could come in. I told you guys this before, but where I live, like my customers would be like bears and deer and animals because I live in the woods. But maybe someday, maybe. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, how do I make it happen? When I get an idea in my head, I'm like, it needs to happen. It needs to have happened yesterday. Like that's just the type of person I am. I don't know, maybe someday. That's my final answer. So now we're gonna talk about some not so nice stuff, you guys. I made a couple videos talking about Sydney or Sydney L, thrifting debutante, posh boss, whatever the fuck she goes by. Oh, guys. Okay, I'll link those other videos down below. But basically, there is just so much more to the story. Like, I thought she was just scamming people um, with, like, her courses and her closet reviews and her mystery boxes. But, oh, no, 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 no. It goes way deeper than that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys screenshots. She had an Etsy store. She opened up an Etsy store. Um, I don't know when she opened the store, but she started selling things on there during the pandemic. Face masks, like capitalizing on shit that people need. Um, yeah, I don't know if any of those customers actually got a fucking face mask from her that they paid money for. She had an Etsy store. It was called Sydney L Designs. I have screenshots of reviews from customers. The first one, oh, actually one person, at least one person got their face mask. Face mask just arrived after waiting six weeks. Fabric is nice, but sewing workmanship is very poor. Would not order again from this seller. This was June 5th, 2020. Um, this person said, I ordered my mask on May 10th. They received an email 
It was on pre-shipment for 516. I reached out to the seller. She did respond with an automatic message indicating to wait 14 business days. I checked back today. And to my surprise, her shop is taking a break. The person said I would like a refund. I don't know if they ever got a refund. I don't know how Etsy's like refund policy is. Um, this person said ordered one month ago and never received the mask, sent numerous messages to sellers and received automated mess responses blaming the post office. As this chick literally makes my blood boil. She is vile. The shit that she has done to people is absolutely disgusting and she needs to be fucking locked up. Like seriously. You don't just steal money from people numerous times, numerous ways, and get away with it. Here's another review. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you guys can pause the video. Um, yeah, here's a couple more one-star reviews. And then, guys, guys, if you thought she was done scamming, no, 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 no. So I guess she's been silent for a little while on Instagram and YouTube. And that's because she's busy scamming other people in other ways. I'm gonna show you guys the screenshots. I'm not blurring out her name. I'm not blurring out the name of this Facebook group because her name needs to be out there. Like people need to know to stay the fuck away from this girl and not have anything to do with her. Don't trust her with your money. Don't trust her with literally anything because she will find a way to fuck you over. This is the post from the Florence Housing For Sale or Rent group on Facebook. I guess she lives in South Carolina. Florence is a city in South Carolina. But this person posted, hello all. I wanted to write on here so that others do not have my unfortunate experience. Sydney Yarbrough, 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 however the fuck you say her name, she's not worthy of me pronouncing her name correctly, is a member of this group and was advertising a room for rent in Florence. Unfortunately, she ended up simply stealing my $900 and I have not heard from her since. I'm a medical student working two jobs to afford tuition and have learned the hard way through this experience. I would hate for anyone else to have to go through this. It's been absolutely horrible picking up additional work to make up what she took what so she goes like there's actually a previous post of this person looking for a room to rent and Sydney replied to that post and was like oh I messaged you so there's like their first interaction and then this person posted this and this was on June 10th you guys June 10th of this year when I'm filming this today's June 14th that was four days ago this bitch is still scamming people you guys what a fucking loser. Like seriously, she's absolutely disgusting. And you know what? I don't I don't know who's worse at this point, her or Nicole State. I don't know. They're fucking neck and neck for vile human beings. They really are. Somebody that actually knows her sent me that information and then I went on Facebook and I could see it myself. Um, but yeah, this person that knows her said she's got so much more dirt on her. Like I don't even want to know what else she's done because it would just, it's just disgusting. She has a Facebook group and I guess she's starting like a consignment thing where she's inevitably going to scam people through that. Like literally she just scammed someone four days ago, you guys. Like you cannot trust this girl. It makes me so mad that people like her exist and they scam people and they hurt people and they get away with it. Like that shit isn't right. Um, so I just finished filming this video and literally like two seconds after I shut the camera off, I messaged the person on Facebook that was scammed by her and I said, um, basically I just told her like, hey, you're not alone. She's scammed many, many people. Um, so I sent her my videos to watch and she said she's gonna file a police report. So yeah, this girl and I are actually messaging each other right now on Facebook and she is very upset, rightfully so. Um, so yeah, she's gonna file a police report. I'll keep you guys posted. She honestly belongs behind bars for the shit that she's done to people. You don't just steal people's money and get away with it. Multiple times in many ways. No, that's not how life works. No. I'm gonna go now. I hope you answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. If you're new to Poshmark and you wanna sign up, you can use my code. It's keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit, so thank you. That's it, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.